this is a bittersweet moment for me. I, I got to tell you. So, and and my heart sunk a little bit today when it was like, hey, after all the churn up for you know the presentation with General Perna, which would have been General Daly, Lieutenant General Promotable Daly. Um, you know, obviously, I always feel comfortable with with uh, Lieutenant Colonel Daniel White in the saddle. Um, you know, and as as I got his out of office assistant, which was when I really got, that's when it got real to me. It got really real when I sent an email out and I got this out of office back that said, hey, my last day is today. And I went, oh crap. And I was trying to pretend it wasn't gonna happen or I was thinking stop move was gonna keep him here a little longer. But I, I quite frankly, when, when that realization hit, I've been searching for the words to really even talk about you know, the impact that Lieutenant Colonel Daniel White's had on this organization. I, I'm struggling to find the words because I gotta tell you, I mean, you have done so much to move this organization forward. You have done so much from the surface tasking order to everything you've done to set the deck for the playbooks, for everything we did to get through the Elite Eight and all the churn before that and all the lessons learned before that that led to putting us in a position to win uh, which is what Daniel does every day. He puts us in a position to win. Um, he is absolutely well loved and liked by all the surface warriors here in this headquarters. I know that for a fact. I can feel that. Everybody trusts you. They respect you. Um, you are, without a doubt, the kind of leader that just has a way of impacting a whole organization. And it's felt all the way out to the tactical edge. Uh, that's what's even more powerful. Brigade commanders. Battalion commanders, they all know Lieutenant Colonel Daniel White. And, you know, he happens to be Air Force. Um, you know, and again, we have this mix, uh, this unique Army Service Component Command where we have Navy and Air Force and a, and a whole bunch of diversity in our formation. And Lieutenant Colonel White, I mean, you know, comes in out of the blue and he probably doesn't know much. I mean, he knows about the Army, but he's leaving out of here having a whole different appreciation for you know, moving the Army and what it means to move the Army. And quite frankly, we could rip the Air Force off and put Army on you and you'd be just fine. Mm -hmm. And I believe that. Um, but the Air Force is lucky to have a caliber officer like you um, in a big time way. And we've been blessed with a lot of high caliber Air Force officers in this organization. Uh, so good for that service. Uh, Daniel is gonna go to Colorado Springs. He's gonna teach because he's that smart. Uh, he's like PhD level smart, so he's gonna go. What's the class you're teaching there? You're gonna so I'll teach innovation and entrepreneurship. Yeah, innovation and entrepreneurs entrepreneurship is what he's gonna teach. Uh, so again, you know, Daniel's just a wicked smart officer. Um, you know, he's embraced our mission set. He's elevated our game. And again, I, I've been struggling to find the words, quite frankly, uh, to. You know, literally everything you've done has transcended the organization. And what I think more importantly it is, for the next five, 10 years, you know, people are gonna be laying on the foundations that, that you put in place. Uh, and I know you'd be the first to say it's a whole team of teams and everything else, and I do know that. Uh, but, you know, your leadership has mattered. Your leadership has made a humongous difference. I'm really glad I got to meet your wife, you know, at, uh, I think it was uh, Joe Rep's farewell. Uh, She's Air Force, got Air Force in her blood, and she's fantastic. Uh, and just a great Air Force family uh, that's going to go on and do great things. And uh, we're going to miss you in a big time way. I'm still going to have remorse. I'm still trying to figure out, you know. But I've heard good things about Lieutenant Colonel Kennedy, um, you know, who is in our midst somewhere. Uh, and, uh, you know, I've heard nothing but really positive things. And I'm glad that you all have had opportunities to left seat, right seat, ride, um, because uh, big shoes to fill. Uh, but I know you did everything you needed to do in transition to that as well. But I think I speak on behalf of all Surface Warrior Nation and certainly the SW3 section and everybody else that uh, you're gonna be sorely missed. Uh, and we just truly appreciate your leadership uh, and what you've meant for the team here. And, and we're gonna continue to grow because of it. So, you know, I, you know, personally and professionally, I just want to thank you, you know, for everything you've done. And it's been a real privilege for me to serve with you.
And, and I think if General Perno was here and other senior leaders that have kind of had the opportunity to get briefed by you, they would all say the same thing. Truly, truly impressive. So I, I've run out of words. I could keep going, but uh, that's the problem when you don't have a script. Uh, because, I mean, you're, you know, it's just phenomenal work that you've done. Um, and if you ever need anything, you just give me a shout. And I mean that. Uh, so without any further ado, uh, we're going to award Lieutenant Colonel White with the Defense Meritorious Service Medal. So what I'd ask to do right now, George, if you would please publish the orders. Judge, two orders. The Defense Meritorious Service Medal is awarded to Lieutenant Colonel Thomas D. White, United States Air Force, for exceptionally meritorious achievement as Chief Cyber Operation Branch and Chief of International Operation Branch. Military Surface Deployment and Distribution Command from July 2017 to July 2020. His attention to detail led to the development of the standard operating procedures for all mission integrators and codifying transportation support for the Joint Deployment and Distribution Enterprise for the first time in the command's history. The distinctive accomplishments of, of Lieutenant Colonel Thomas White reflect great, great credit upon himself, the Military Surface Deployment and Distribution Command, the United States Armed Forces and the Department of Defense. Signed, Stephen E. Farman, Major General, U.S. Army, Commanding. Very well deserved. A real honor to serve with your family. Both, both elbows, all right. So, yeah, yeah, I almost shook his hand. You know, it's yeah, like, a, yeah. like this. All right. That's a memory there. That's a memory. <laughs> standards and discipline just pull that thing out okay uh, but uh, without a doubt uh, everybody knows that this coin represents a lot of things and on the front side of that coin is our purpose to move deploy and sustain the armed forces to deliver readiness and lethality at speed and on the back of that coin is the people that do it and that's surface warriors uh, so when you look at the front and back of that coin you definitely deserve that, and you've lived up to what it means to be a surface warrior in every sense of the word. And I just want to wish you all the best for you and your family in the future. And the Air Force has got a good one with you in the huddle. So stay in touch. All right, big round of applause. <laughs> I've got some more goodies for you here from the team here. Thank you, Major General Farman. Command Sergeant Major Retired Kevin McKillar. McCullough, will you now come up to present Lieutenant Colonel White the St. Christopher Medal? Military Order St. Christopher, the legend of St. Christopher, whose name comes from Christ Christovers, has been associated with transporters from their earliest times. Depictions of him on medieval church walls were always opposite the entrance so that passersby could look on them and be fortified. It is believed that whoever shall behold the image of St. Christopher shall not fate or fall on that day. As the legend goes, the extremely robust Christoph Christopher devoted his life to carrying people across an otherwise unfordable stream. One day, a little child appeared before him and asked to be carried across. To Christopher's surprise, as he forded the river, the child steadily increased in weight until Christopher found his tiny burden so heavy he feared they would be both drowned. Despite his great strength, the child revealed himself as Christ and explained to an exhausted Christopher that he had carried the world's sin upon his shoulders. St. Christopher, the patron saint of the Transportation Corps Regiment, was one of the most popular saints during antiquity in the early Middle Ages. Usually pictured carrying Christ and symbolically the weight of the world's sins across the a river, the image of St. Christopher offers a fitting symbol of strength, loyalty, and safety for transporters charged with moving the force now and for all time. To all transporters, wherever ye may be, greetings. Know ye that there appear before a most arduous and selective committee of proven transporters, a likely candidate for the honorable order of St. Christopher. Be it remembered that the hereafter mentioned individual has been inspected and passed on by ourselves and our loyal staff, and be it known by all ye transporters 
who may be honored by this individual's presence that Lieutenant Colonel Thomas D. White, having been tried and found worthy to be numbered as one of our trusted members, has been gathered into our fold and duly initiated into the solemn mysteries of a steam order of transporters. Be it further understood that we hereby confer upon this individual the shield of St. Christopher and enjoin all transporters to show due honor and respect whenever this individual may enter their midst, given under the hands this day, 1 May 2020, Kathleen M. Ganey, Lieutenant General, U.S. Army Re Retired, Honorary Corps of the Transportation Regiment. Very worthy of this uh, distinguished award, without a doubt. She just tilted her head a little. Those words really resonated. I don't know why I'm smiling. I'm smiling right through the mask. You can smile with the eyes, you know? Uh, very worthy. Well read. At this time, Brandon Snyder will come up for a couple of gift presentations. A wise South Carolina man once said that perfection is elusive, expensive, and rarely necessary. Now that's a, a long passed down white family adage that uh, Lieutenant Colonel White has, has shared with me. And any slide going forward that fails to meet the standard, that's what I'm gonna tell everybody. <laughs> right? that's, that's good. So thank you for that. But in all honesty, um, you've been incredible. Uh, my partner in crime, sounding board, mentor, friend, brother, I've been with headquarters for 15 years. I've never met, never met a better communicator, a stronger influencer. All right, better communicator and stronger influencer. And I'll tell you what, the best thing about that is you got the heart to back it up, to help others. So as you go forward to teach the students uh, and anyone else that congregates around you, uh, huge benefit to them. Uh, it, it, to me, that's just incredible. Few will know that outside of our spouses that you and I actually do disagree. Uh, and it happens often, right? But what that does is that helps me raise my game. Um, and I hope that I've helped you raise yours. Um, in the end, you change me for the better. And I know that's something we've always talked about, that that's your lasting impact, the organization that you want to change it for the better. You change me for the better. So I appreciate that. Cool. Uh, got a couple of gifts for you. Uh, Scotty is really the uh, the creative uh, creative brainchild behind these gifts, uh, and so Scotty, if you wouldn't mind uh, coming up here uh, with me, we can present these to uh, to Colonel White. No way I'm going to be able to open that, Scotty. Well, well I need a official. You tilted a lot of windmills in your day, and now I gave you a sword to make sure you can finish the job. You've really been a great leader for us, and you're always welcome in the Army if you ever get a chance. Oh. Oh. Nothing more.
more exciting I love life weapons than Monopoly. If you're going to get screwed over in Monopoly, make it by the United States Army. Yeah. Anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I get to talk now? Sure. Oh. You can take that off, yeah. Uh, and you know, a man can live his, uh, his whole lifetime and uh, hear words like that. Um, he could live another lifetime. I. There's a lot I want to say, um, but I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna keep you here forever. Um, I, let me start by uh, saying this. Um, this has been the honor and privilege of a lifetime. I may never get another opportunity to to lead, to take chances. and your trust um, in letting me uh, do that has changed me forever, made me a different person in a better way, and uh, I'm forever in your debt for that. Um, and the quality of, um, so underneath all of this, right, if we, I appreciate what you read, my, my sole purpose in life, right, one simple one, is to make Christ look great. That's why I exist. That's what I do. It doesn't matter what the context is. And so when I hear words um, about um, how you have um, seen the value of the relationship, that's all that matters to me at the end of the day. And the things that we do to try to make an organization better or to try to make really at the end of the day, right, about that pursuit of um, life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, right? And, and underneath and in that pursuit of happiness is the relationship that we were all designed for. And the quality of relationships that I have experienced here have been off the chart. This has been um, the hardest I've ever had to work with. Um, I come in every day and not know what fire you're going to have to put out to work through lunch, to sprint through the afternoon, and to go home late, and then to want to get up the next morning and come do it again is something other than who I was prior to coming into this job. And it's certainly the value and the importance of the work, but the work to a particular end, right? And that end is right, what we're trying to So there was the meaningful work, but then underneath that, there were the incredible relationships, right? Sir, from you to this back wall to Captain Kong, Mr. Kazmir Zach, Captain Duanus before him, to Mr. Beasley, who put up with me when I didn't know what ALD stood for. It took six months just to be able to understand the acronyms on a movement timeline, right? To Kevin Lundquist first, and then Brandon Snyder, who were patient with an Air Force guy who didn't know anything. Uh, and you gave me the opportunity to try to make a difference and then to um, hopefully make a difference in other people's lives. And so thank you for that. My family has, an ex has experienced greater of joy, right, in life in general, and 
this assignment. We lived on Scott Air Force Base. My commute was two minutes, and uh, and this has been uh, this assignment will be and forever will be looked back upon as a significantly positive time in our life. And I pray to God that He continues to give us that grace. But here, the grace. You said this, sir, and it's true. I get way, 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 way too much credit um, because every slide that you see here has been probably this much of um, an idea in my head and this much um, ideas of the other people around me and the execution of the people around me. And so I got swept up in some of the best pure talent I've ever had the opportunity to work with. And fortunately, you gave me the ability to sit on top of a lot of that talent, and so I got to get a lot of undeserved credit. Um, by extension, right, yeah, my dad, I don't know where he got that quote from. He's like me. He's probably not smart enough to make up something like that, but I couldn't figure out uh, where the you know, perfection quote came from. But at an early age, he embedded another quote and that was, son, never forget, you can be replaced in 24 hours and forgot in 48. <laughs> <laughs> and his point being uh, is just always know, right, um, that, uh, that there's people behind you, there's people around you that um, can do what you're doing. And you need to recognize um, and be honest with yourself about inadequate transporter who was able to enjoy the benefits of all the experts around him. And so I'll, uh, I didn't script this either, sir. Um, and so I think I'll, I'll close with this. Um, as I move forward from SDDC and I go into the, the classroom to try to teach certainly for the next few years, I uh, will be infinitely better in the classroom as a teacher and as a mentor because of what I experienced here. Uh, and I hope uh, that I'm able to pass on in some small way a little bit of this incredible um, growth experienced here to those cadets so that people can continue to uh, go on and carry on the tradition of uh, trying to deliver to people what ultimately um, matters most. And so thank you, sir. Uh, thank you, Colonel Sliman. Thank you, Colonel Evans. Thank you, Mr. Hutchinson. Captain Kong, thank you uh, for letting me do the things mistakes for um, continuing to believe in me and press on. Mr. Beasley, thank you. Uh, Mr. Kazmierczak, thanks for continuing to um, lead and develop me as you came into the seat. Brandon, thank you for putting up with me, for making me better, for helping me see the world in a completely different way. Kevin, Brother, uh, special relationship, and I know that you know we both pull each other, each other's hair out at times, and that's why we look like we do right now. <laughs> um, but I'm better for it. And then Jill, an incredible special relationship. You made me better as a captain. I did everything I could to try to keep you from coming up here, but I lost that one. <laughs> CG benefited as a result. You did try. <laughs> um, and there's. Graciously, and she's done a, she's done a exactly what I knew she would do up here, sir, and that's make us all continue to make us all better. Y'all, um, the most important thing I can say is thank you. And uh, we'll see you down the road. And I'll make sure.
treasure.